Hi and welcome to another example tutorial on turf effects. In this example we're going to do long grass and long seed grass together to give you this example uh, from the wiki. So we'll start off with a blank route but you can obviously open your own route and add these layers that we're about to show you. Alright, let's get started. Topology, advanced, add, edit effects layer, uh, we'll go to turf effects, grass, and we will change this to be five meters of precision. We want this to be uh, probably in four because uh, we wanted a few bits of precision. I know the wiki says in one, it really depends on whether you want it thick or not thick. Uh, or if you want somewhere in between, if you want somewhere, somewhere in between, between on or off, you're going to need more than in one. So I'm going to go within four anyway. Uh, on here it's 10 meters. <clears throat> Depends how close you want to get to the track. If you want to paint it with a bit more precision, you'll need to go a bit higher. I might go five meters. Then we'll change this to how long we want the grass. And on here it's 35. How thick we want the blades, which is 0.2. Uh, they don't have any uh, noise, so the blades won't get randomly thinner or thicker. Uh, so we'll leave that off. The height noise, I might change that to 0.3 just because I don't want too much height variation. And the rest is, this is bending the animation, so I might put 2.8 for the, the bending scale, the animation of the when the wind's uh, taking effect with the blades. Dispersal, 0.2, uh, how far apart the blades are and they've got 0 0.3, 0 0.3 on the constant values to give us more thick uh, density with, with how many blades there actually are. So that's should be it for our, oh, sorry, I forgot the all important asset to select. So grass four gives us a green grass. That's, that's the default that I usually use for most green grass. Okay, let's increase our intensity, radius. We've got our layer selected already paint some down. That's what our long grass looks like. Uh, the wind's turned up fairly high. I might bring that down a bit. And we'll put a person in there so we can see that that's how long the green grass is. And now we can go and add our second layer with the add new layer button. And we'll call this TFX grass seed. Uh, grass long 10 is the asset we actually want. And we only want to have this on or off. So we don't need much precision. So we'll go with int one and we will probably set it to five meters as well. So it's the same as what this other layer is. So we can, we can copy over the top. You could, you could actually probably go a bit bigger because you don't want to have it uh, a one-to-one -one relationship with the other grass. So you could probably go 10 or 20 meters and cover bigger areas for less data, I guess. It means your, your route will be saved a little bit smaller. You're saving a bit of data by increasing the size of that. All right, then we go to the geometry scale. So we're putting this relatively higher than the other one, uh, point and we're keeping it fairly thin so 0.1 and we don't want any variation it would seem so we take that off no variation in width and a small amount of variation in height 2.5 and the interesting part here is you've got two ones on the end of this so these uh, are what makes up the polygon for the blade. And I think on the effects layer asset section of the wiki, you can see somewhere, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. It doesn't actually cover it on here, or maybe it doesn't, I just can't find it. I'll explain it to you anyway. So what we've got here is it defines uh, the rectangle that you're gonna build for each of your blades. Leaving these ones out means the top bit of your rectangle uh, will be pointy. 
Uh, whereas if you put them in, it means it will be a full rectangle, which is what we want because the uh, once we get to our seed grass, uh, let's just put it in and I'll explain further. So bending scale, 0 0.8. Uh, they've got one there, but I'm not a big... Uh, one's fine. Uh, I just choose 0 0.8 for some reason. 225 for dispersal, so the blades will be fairly far apart. There's no bunching and the number of seeds has dropped dramatically. So we're going to just have it dispersed around uh, just little bits here and there, as you can see on this. You know, you can you can kind of see it throughout. Not all all long grass is with seed, basically. So apply that tick, and we will then get our height tool on that layer. We'll start to spread some of this around. So as we click, you can see. Let me just spread it around. As we zoom in, you can see that some of this has gone to seed and some of it hasn't. So if you're looking closely, you can see that, um, oh, stop the wind, that will help. No wind. Right, you can see that, I don't know whether you can, oh, actually, I can, I can make it even more visible. Let's make it pretty thick. Uh, five might do the trick. Do you see that? that texture has uh, a top to it that is uh, alpha masked. So you can see some transparency in that texture. So that's the reason why we add this extra bit at the end for the near and far polygons that are being rendered. So if we take this out, you'll find that that top bit is gonna become pointy because where it gets a square uh, it's going to collapse those two points together to make it pointy, which is what that does if you remove the two top uh, vertices. So you can see now that that's really pointy. So that gets you a, a point on your blade of grass, which is what these ones have here, the, the green ones. They're actually 1110 uh, to make that blade. So this one is 1110 at the moment, but what we want, because that actually has a, is in a transparent texture and it needs some sort of um, square polygon to see the entire texture, we need to add those ones in. And then that gets us the full texture showing. Uh, so that's that's probably the one thing that you'll change with, a, uh, with alpha masked textures versus just blades of grass, those two parameters there. I don't think you'll end up changing these other ones too much, but you can, uh, it's totally up to you how you wanna make your grass. So let's change that back to one. You could probably even do two on the thickness. It would still look okay. And change our wind back, bring it back up. It's probably a little bit too strong. So that gets you, you know, most of the grass there, I guess you can see is, is with seed. So what you can, what you can also do is instead of using, uh, if you want it less with seed, you'll have to go and increase the amount of precision you can play with because int one's only giving us an off or an on, uh, or you can probably, uh, let's just try the dispersal, but I think you'll probably need, yeah, you'll notice, see how that's happening in lines now. You'll definitely need uh, more precision because we can only paint on and off with an int one. So if we go sensitivity on um, and we're painting with it, there's no more grass being added. If we take it off and click once, it goes away because that's an on or an off with int one. So what we want to do, if we paint it back again, we change our seed to be say an int. You probably do int three, I guess. Int four is the general one that I use. We'll try in three. So we've applied that and we might go and uh, probably do all of it. So we've pasted it all down. So as we click, it'll start to get less density. So that means we've got three clicks at the moment by the looks of it, I think, before we're... So we've got three clicks before we are at full. So you definitely, I think you'll need a bit more precision. In four, apply that. And you can use your get height value 
to be about try point three is my go-to number but it mightn't be what we want in this particular instance and we'll paste that around and you'll see that it's only in a few spots and you don't get those lines anymore which is good uh, but you might want a little bit more than than what you're seeing there so if you if you jump down to your number of seeds and perhaps increase that to one you'll get a, a you know a little bit more of the seed happening uh, and again if you want the dispersal you can make that a little bit larger so they're not so clumped and you won't get so obvious lines and you know that that's probably a lot less than what we saw before so you just need to play around with those parameters to work out uh, you know how much how much seed grass you want throughout your your original green grass so I hope that gives you uh, a good idea on on what to use you can also oh yeah, increase this to six and you'll get more more blades so that's nearly nearly using all the density um, so obviously one will look like this because that's fully dense yeah, if we go to 0 0.6 that cuts down a, a little bit of it and gives you some sort of variation totally up to you anyway hopefully that helps you set up some grass for uh, long seeded grass there's our guy gone uh, and it'll look like that Thanks for watching.